Hello, everyone. This week, our community has achieved a major milestone in our journey on the transition from the stewardship of the US government over our affairs to the stewardship of the global community of you. It is a momentous week because on Monday, the last of the four components that make up the proposal to the US government was delivered for community input. With these four components, we now have the makings of what will be a final proposal to move ICANN after so many years from the unique stewardship of the US government to the stewardship of the globe. We are delighted by this accomplishment and we must all pause and I first to take a moment to thank you, each and every one of you, for the incredible sacrifices, the commitment to make sure that not a single contribution, not a single idea goes without community dialogue and discussion, leading to these four components being truly the product of bottom-up consensus work for delivering a proposal that will meet the criteria of the US government to achieve this transition. So thank you. Thank you to each one of you, because your hard work did not only produce effectively these components for that proposal, but your hard work is a triumph for the multi-stakeholder model. It shows without question that together we are effective, together we live by the principles of consensus decision-making, and we produce our work using them. So, frankly, uh, my most sincere uh, thank you to each one of you who have participated and given time up and beyond everything else you have on your plate. So where do we go now? This now starts the last mile towards the transition. And in that last mile, we're taking like a movie, all the pieces we recorded and we did together, and we need to edit them, make sure we listen to everyone, uh, make sure contributions are addressed at the, in the public comment periods, and then hopefully bringing together all of this into a cohesive proposal that meets all the criteria of the US government before the end of this year. So in this last mile, in many ways, nothing changes. The same commitment, the same focus, the same inclusivity, and the same absolute belief that the consensus of the community is what must go to the US government. The role of ICANN throughout the last phase and in this coming last mile does not change. We are a facilitator. We are members of the community too. We participate, we contribute, we share our ideas. But when we're all done, and the community delivers a proposal for ICANN to pass, transmit to the U.S. government, that proposal will not be interfered with. We made that commitment, we stand by that commitment, and we look forward to getting this step done. Um, last week, we had some very fruitful meetings in London. Uh, the leaders of many of the technical organizations meet together once in a while, and we spent two days together. I want to just share with you a couple of very important things. The technical operating community for the unique identifiers which ICANN coordinates includes the IETF, that community works and delivers to us the protocol parameters. We simply perform what they ask us to do. The regional internet registries who work on their regional policies and come together and deliver to us a global policy that we then review and move forward with. But we also perform their IANA functions. And of course, our own country code top-level domain operators and generic top-level domain operators who come to us through our own organizations, the CCNSO and the GNSO. So all these folks and the leaders of many other organizations met and we agreed to continue with the same spirit we've had for many years. The spirit and the effectiveness of an operating community that has delivered a secure, stable, and resilient unique identifiers layer, sometimes called the logical infrastructure of the internet, without interruption. 
That is done because while we're independent, we are very connected via uh, common principles, via uh, mutual commitments to each other, sometimes uh, uh, identified in, in MOUs, memorandums of understanding. That has been the case and that is, continues to be the case and will be the case after the transition. And ICANN is part of that technical operating community, serving the various parts of it with continued commitment uh, to our independence, but to our solidarity. And that solidarity is critical. It is what allowed us until today to deliver the services we do without interruption and with great service to the global community. No one will or can come between us as a highly uh, committed, interconnected community of operating organizations that will deliver without interruption, now and in the future, the key functions we do today. This distributed model actually provides far more stability than a model that is centralized. We've contended that and we continue to stand by that, that these concepts of uh, distributed organizations actually deliver um, in a much stronger way continued uh, operations for the global community. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about my focus and the focus of the ICANN staff in the next few months. As the community enters this last mile, we will absolutely continue with our uh, support as a facilitator, we will contribute where we can, and we will give the community what it needs to finish this key job. But equally and as importantly, ICANN will now move a lot of its energies to strengthen what we have built over the last 16 years, our structures, our service levels, our globalization activities, our accountability activities, so that when the transition happens, we take what we built on for the last 16 years, strengthen it further, and show the world that we are indeed ready for this awesome responsibility. Thank you for trusting us with that. And I can assure you that as ICANN's president, I will make sure our energies are spent without delay immediately to ensure the operational readiness for the phase post the transition. I thank you and I look forward to seeing Buenos Aires 